Hi guys and welcome along. Today's video is all about the brand new Anton pressure meter, the APM145. So I'm just going to go briefly into explaining what comes with it and then I'm going to show you through a little test on that. So first and foremost, you're going to get your three AA batteries included with the unit. It comes with a nice strong rubber boot and a strong magnet for you as well. And you'll notice on the back, I have a hanging hook available for me as well to put on the pipes and also could also be used as a stand as demonstrated here. You'll notice when you turn on the unit, it comes with that high contrast color screen. And for those guys who have flue gas analyzers made by Anton, you'll notice that the pressure menu in here looks very similar to the pressure menu on your flue gas analyzer. We've tried to keep that very similar, familiar for you guys. Finally, the pressure range itself starts at minus 40 millibar right the way up to plus 130. So that completes the ins and outs of the 145. What I want to do now is flip over the camera and we're going to run through a little test for you. Okay, great. So I've got my APM 145 fired up. You can see on screen here the high contrast color screen. Now, I just want to point out to you guys that the APM 155 will look exactly the same. The only difference being is the spigots on top here will allow you to use high pressure spigots. So for those guys wanting to work in up to two bar, you would be looking at the APM 155 as that unit will deal with higher units of pressure. So we're gonna run through a quick test. We hit the escape button. And as I say, this is gonna look very familiar for you guys who've got Anton flue gas analyzers. But what we're going to do is we're going to run through a test. So we go into the test menu and we can see the different levels of pressure, different pressure menus I've got available to me. So we go into the let bind tightness. Now I'm not going to run through the full let bind tightness testings with timings. I'm just going to simply click and go just for speed and show you how, we can work, how this unit will work. So if I start my let by, let the time tick over as you would according to your gas safe register. I'm just going to pass it for the time being. I'm then going to start my stabilization process. And I'm going to hit stop on that once I've completed my stabilization. If it's passed, I tick. Again with the tightness, I'm going to hit the play on the tightness test. Let the time tick over once I've completed. And I'm happy I've got my results. I either click the X or the tick for a pass. I'm going to pass it for argument's sake. Now, it's passed. For example, obviously this hasn't passed because I haven't done the correct timings, but for argument's sake, we're going to. Now, if I click save, that's going to store a log in my new APM 145. So I click the tick. Now, what you guys can see here is that I have that mobile phone icon, very familiar with the Anton Flugas Sprint Pro 3s and above. Now, what you'll be able to notice is with this unit, if I long hold this button, I can toggle straight towards my infrared sprinter or my printer, as it may be. So if you need to print those results, this unit is the perfect unit for you guys. However, what I'm just gonna quickly show you is if I toggle back to here and I introduce a tablet, you'll see that once I go on to the Anton Sprint mobile application, if I select a customer, so for argument's sake, let's do Ollie the landlord here. I'm working at Big Bird's house and I'm working on a combi boiler, for example. If I now hit the button there, my results have been pinged directly wirelessly across to my Sprint mobile app. If I click this button down here, I can view that as a PDF. And you guys should be able to see what I'll do is I'll pick it up and bring it closer to the camera. But I've got my let line tightness test results in a PDF format with a company logo if required. And all my gas as an engineer, my gas safe engineer records are here. So my gas safe registration, if I'm off tech, I can get my off tech number in there and all my details. And at a simple push of a button, I can email that to my customer or I can add that to my CP12. Now there are further videos available on our website and online here for you to view how to get work your way around Sprint Mobile, so look out for those. But for the time being, that completes a brief look at how the pressure menu looks and how the APM 145 can really help you on their day-to-day -to -day tools. Any other questions, pop online, 
ask one of our representatives for some help. But for now, thanks very much for watching.